Today we celebrate leading ladies. And we celebrate one of the newest theater companies in town. Hi, I'm Jerry Kowarski. And I'm Bob Wilcox. Come with us to the theater and we'll tell you what we've seen from our two seats on the aisle. Okay, Bob, we are here at the Muni after opening night of Hairspray in a terrific show. I, love, I like this show more and more each time I see it. It's about a young woman named Tracy Turnblad in Baltimore in 1962. Uh, she's got a plus-size personality and a plus-size figure, and she's just a, a wonderfully open person. She's completely accept, accepting of herself and others. Uh, she, her main goals in life are to be on a television program in Baltimore that's kind of the local equivalent of American Bandstand or St. Louis Hop. And she likes the dancing of the black kids so much that she just wishes that every day they, that all the kids could dance together because in, at that particular time, the black kids were limited to one day a month, which in, the, in the terms of those days was called Negro Day. <laughs> and Tracy just doesn't understand it. She just likes the dancing so much and she just wants to have fun. And you just can't help but like her and like the attitude of this musical, which is so much fun. It, it was, a, I say, a, a terrific performance by the Muni. Uh, Ryan Redmond was Tracy with, a, with a, produ a, a performance that was full of heart. Christopher J. Hankey was Carney Collins, who's the host of the show. Uh, Link Larkin was played by John Batiglis. He's the young... Uh, handsome guy who Tracy falls in love with and just thinks she can get even though girls like Tracy usually don't get the guy and that's one of the things you have to love about her. Uh, Tracy's mother Edna Turnblad is a role that's usually played by a guy in drag. Here was a fine performance by Brian Batt. Uh, her husband Wilbur was played by Lara Teeter who had a wonderful way of moving and, and their number together was, was just a great muni-sized number, uh, really terrific. Other fine performances were Gerald Caesar as Seaweed J. Stubbs, the lead black dancer, and uh, Liz Michael as Motormouth Maybell, uh, her, her, his mother, uh, really terrific. Uh, and as the two villains of the piece, <laughs> we had Heather Ayers as Wilma Von Tassel and uh, Taylor Lauterman as Amber Van Tassel, who made being prejudiced as ridiculous as it really is. And I, I really want to compliment the Muni on the way they use their digital screen because they used it to help show what was happening on the television show in the early 1960s and it just worked tremendously well. Yeah, the whole, uh, the way the whole uh, scenery, the whole style design worked with the acting was great. So let's hear some of the music from this show. Good morning, oh. 